Hi, I'm Karin. Welcome to another Slings in Motion practice. In this movement sequence, we will do a beautiful combination of strengthening self-massage exercises in which I will use small massage domes. If you don't have massage domes, you can also use massage balls with or without texture. We'll start in a sitting position and then transition down onto the floor. Place the props on either side of your mat and then take a seat sitting right on top of your sit bones, elongate the spine. The knees are bent, either legs hip distance and parallel or you can close the legs. Hold on behind the knees, keeping your feet where they are. Pull your heels towards the sit bones and then release the pulling and tilt the pelvis back, curling back, mobilizing the spine. Roll forward, bring your forehead close to the knees. We call this a spine stretch position. And then once again, keeping your feet where they are, pull your heels towards your sit bones, sit right on top of them, centering the pelvis and then elongating the spine. Inhale to prepare. With your next exhalation, tilt the pelvis back, roll back. With your inhalation, expand the back of the ribcage. When you exhale, roll forward into a spine stretch. With your inhalation, pull the heels towards the sit bones, center the pelvis, center the spine. Let's do this one more time. Exhalation, release the pulling, draw up from pelvic floor, in from the lower abdominals. Inhale, stay fully engaged through the front. Exhalation, roll forward into a spine stretch. And with your inhalation, you're curling up one more time. Now we are transitioning down onto the floor. Exhalation, tilt the pelvis back. Let the breath flow. Let your arms extend fully. Slide the feet along the mat. And then with the help of your hands, lift your feet off the floor and roll down into a rest position, hugging the knees close to the chest. Step one foot after the other down onto the floor. Place your legs hip distance and parallel. Take your arms up towards the ceiling. Open your arms out to the sides. And then from the centered starting position, with your next exhalation, engage pelvic floor and abdominals. Tilt the pelvis back. Let your lower back melt into the floor. Inhalation. Center the pelvis and the spine. So you gradually release your abdominals. Exhalation, tilt the pelvis back, pelvic tilt, lower back smelting into the floor. Inhalation, center the pelvis and the spine. We will keep rolling up now, pelvic curl. You tilt the pelvis back, let the breath flow, lift your pelvis and then peel the spine away from the floor one vertebra at a time until you are in a shoulder bridge position. Here, you have a line from the knees to the hips to the shoulders. And then closing the front of the ribcage, opening the back of the ribcage, roll down, imprinting one vertebra at a time again. And the last to land on the floor is your pelvis. When your pelvis is centered, take the props and squeeze the props into the side of your hips, actually not into the side of your hips, but <laughs> between your hips and the floor. So you wedge them in, you wedge them in firmly. The sacrum is still on the floor, but you feel the touch of the props on the side of your hips. Take your arms up towards the ceiling, open your arms out to the sides. Once again, let them rest on the floor. If you like to work with imagery, you can imagine a metal ball sitting on the sacrum in the center of your pelvis. And for now, you keep that ball very still. Float your right leg into a tabletop position. Find a 90 degree angle in the knee and then float the foot back down. Step it onto the floor. Float your left leg into a tabletop position. 90 degree angle in the knee 
and then float the leg back down onto the floor. With your exhalation, you float the right leg into tabletop, keeping the pelvis and the lower back centered. Inhalation, float back down. Same on the left. Leg floats up with the exhalation and then floating the leg down with the inhalation. Keep going a few more times in your own rhythm. This is a core stabilization exercise. Therefore, you want to keep the pelvis and the spine centered. Your pelvic floor muscles, your deep abdominals are consciously engaged as much as necessary, as little as possible. And then you have a steady rhythm. And while you feel centered in your pelvis, the leg movement feels light. Next time your left leg is on the floor, you can keep both feet on the floor. And we are moving now into another exercise. You slide your feet closer, you lift the heels off the floor, you bring your knees together. From here, let the knees move over to the right, let the pelvis rotate to the right. So you are almost resting a little bit on the prop on the right side of your hip. Center the pelvis, center the legs. And move the legs over to the left side, sliding the legs against one another. And then center the pelvis, center the legs, to the right again. As you move the pelvis and the legs to the right, that imaginary metal ball is rolling to the right side of the hip. Center the pelvis and the ball is rolling back onto the sacrum and over to the left as you... <laughs> Move the legs and the pelvis over to the left, back to center. And then in, your, in the center, bring your heels down onto the floor. Press the heels slightly away from your body. Let your lower back melt into the floor. Center the pelvis and the spine. Lift your heels off the floor. Another version. Side to side is the exercise. You slide the legs over to the right, the pelvis rotates to the right, lower back is stabilized. Extend your right leg, lower the right leg, feel the imprint deepen of the prop into the side of the hip, lift the leg, bend the knee, and then center the pelvis and center the spine to the other side, to the left to the side, extend your left leg, lower the left leg, lift it, bend the knee, toes to the floor, and then you center the pelvis, center the legs, heels to the floor, press the legs, or the heels, I'm sorry, slightly away, the pelvis tilts back, lower back melts into the floor, and then again back to center. Lift the heels. Here's another version. So you're moving over to the sides. You extend your bottom leg. You keep the lower back stable. Lower the leg down. And now semicircle the leg away and take it back up. And again, you semicircle it away. The knee starts to turn up towards the ceiling and then more towards your arm as you take the leg back up. Let's do this one more time, semicircle, leg back up, reconnect the legs, bend the knee, and then center the pelvis and center the legs. Heels to the floor, tilt the pelvis back, lower back melts into the floor, center the pelvis and the lower back, lift the heels, move the knees over to the left, and repeat on the other side. We have a hip massage. That's already beautiful. And then, of course, your oblique abdominals controlling the movement together with your transverse abdominals stabilize the lower back and the pelvis. Back muscles are also engaged here. And then the leg movement itself, abductors, adductors engaged. Let's do this one more time with the semicircle of the leg and a little bit of the, the hip flexor muscles, but it's really focused on the adductors and the abductors, inner and outer thighs. Center the pelvis, center the legs, lower the heels down, let the lower back melt into the floor, and then center the pelvis and the spine. 
Move your feet and your legs apart, so they are hip distance again, from here into the pelvic curl. Same as before, pelvic tilt first and then peeling the spine away from the floor, engaging the hip extensor muscles together with the abdominal muscles. So hip extensor strength to open the front of the hips and also have a bilateral balance movement to complement the unilateral movements. Now you can roll down slowly again, imprinting one vertebra at a time, shoulders relaxed, chest open, center the pelvis, and here are your options. Either you repeat the sequence we just did with the feet on the floor, or you float your right leg into tabletop, you float your left leg into tabletop, you connect the legs, at any time, you can change your mind, moving from tabletop down on, onto the floor, of course. From here, with your next inhalation, move the knees over to the right, side to side. Exhalation, center the pelvis, legs back to center. Inhalation to the left side. Exhalation, back to center. Let's go one more time on each side. Actually, two more times. So we have the same amount of repetition. So one more each side. Oblique abdominal strength, back strength, adductors and abductors. Tilt the pelvis back. If you're in tabletop, you bring the knees closer to the chest. You can even let the pelvis lift. And then pelvis down onto the floor, center the pelvis, center the spine, legs to tabletop. To the right, inhalation side to side, exhalation, extend your right leg, inhalation, lower the leg, you almost rest it on the prop, exhalation, lift, inhale, bend the knee, with your exhalation, center the pelvis and the legs, inhale to your left, exhale, extend the leg, Lower leg, inhalation, lower it. Exhalation, lift the legs, adductors. Inhalation, bend the knee. And then exhale, center. Tilt the pelvis back, knees closer to the chest. If you like, you can even let the pelvis lift slightly, roll it back onto the floor, center the lower back. Last variation, favorite. To the right, you inhale, ex exhale, I'm sorry, extend the leg, inhalation, lower the leg down, and then as you exhale, you semicircle away, inhalation back up, it's a little bit faster, exhalation, semicircle, inhalation back up, one more. Exhale, lift the leg, reconnect, bend the knee, inhale. With your exhalation, center the pelvis, the legs, and then curl, lower back melting into the floor, hug the knees, or not hug the knees closer, bring the knees closer, back to center, and then towards your left side one more time. When you do the movement, always assure that your lower back is stabilized. So your lower back is not extending when you are in the movement here. It is an interplay of your abdominal muscles and your back muscles. So a balanced interplay and the abdominals have the key role here to stabilize your lower back. Lift your right leg back up, reconnect the legs, bend the knee, center the pelvis, bring the legs back to center, and then let your knees fold towards your chest. With your hands, draw the knees close, let the pelvis lift for a moment, and then step one foot after the other onto the floor, remove the props from either side of your pelvis, align the legs hip distance and parallel, one more time the pelvic curl, tilting the pelvis back, and rolling up one vertebra at a time, 
balanced exercise, engaging the hip extensor muscles, the spine extensor muscles together with the abdominals. And then roll back down with the same awareness. The last to arrive on the floor is your pelvis. Take your arms up towards the ceiling. Float your right leg into tabletop. Engage to the center a little bit more. Float your left leg to tabletop. Connect the legs. Lower the arms, lift head and shoulders off the floor. Hold on behind the knees. And then press your legs into the hands. Roll up. Land on your feet. Slide the feet a little bit further away from the sit bones. Spine stretch. And then pull the heels towards the sit bones. Elongate the spine fully. Open your knees out to the sides, either into a diamond sit or into a cross-legged sitting position. Place your hands to the front of the knees and then lift your sternum up towards the ceiling and extension. Roll behind the sit bones, curl, and then center the pelvis and center the spine. And I do hope you enjoyed this movement sequence as much as I did.